As we've seen in previous videos, it can be a little bit tricky to work with the LUT button inside the Fusion tab of Resolve. The LUT list might not indicate the actual LUTs that are applied, and the LUTs might be set in such a way that it's not useful when working with RCM or ACES. In addition, the settings might not be saved with the project. So there is a workaround for that, and that is to simply turn off the LUT and apply a color space transform right within the tool network. Let's give that a try. Right now I have the Alexa Red RCM project open. To refresh our memories, let's see what we have. We have two clips. You can see we are using RCM, and the timeline and the output color spaces are set to Rec. 709. If you open an older project with Resolve 17, it'll list the RCM as a legacy version. See the word legacy right here. And it'll show you the old controls. You can switch to the current version right here in the menu. And then if you set the preset back to custom, you'll still have access to the input color space, timeline color space, and alpha color space. So even though I switched over, you can see it's still set to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4 for all those color spaces. I'll return to the older version. So how can we work with this inside Fusion? I've turned off the LUT, so now I can insert one or more tools here in the tool network to give me my color space transform. I'm going to right mouse button click on the pipe beside media in, go to add tool to see my tool list, and go up to my color tools. Here I'm going to choose the gamut tool. And technically gamut is the range of colors a device can display or a sensor can capture. In Fusion, this is a tool that allows you to transform one color space to another. So I'll choose that. It gets inserted into the network automatically. And while it's selected, you can see the parameters over here at the right. Now this is identical to the managed LUT you might see up here. By default, it doesn't do anything though. So how do we set this? We need to set the source space to match the incoming color space. So I could match it to a camera, or to be safe, I can set it to from image. And this will match its current state inside the media tab. And then I can set the output space to match however I have the output set in the project settings. We're working with Rec. 709, so I'll see what Rec. 709 options we have. Once again, there is a ITU-R Rec. 709 that has a display and scene variation. Because we're working with RCM, I found that the display variation works better. Once it's set, you can see the output looks correct. And this actually matches the other tabs before we applied this tool. Now here's where it gets a bit tricky. I get the color space transform from this tool, but I also get the color space transform from my scene referred system. If I was using a display referred system, I could also have a double color transform if I had been using a LUT or DCTL or an OFX plugin. So if I go to another tab, like the timeline, it doesn't look correct anymore. It's a double transform. So while I'm in the Fusion tab, I'm OK. I can see the appropriate view. But when I'm ready to go back to their tabs, I have a problem. So the solution here is to work within Fusion, add your visual effects, and then when you're ready to go back to, say, color grading in the color tab, you turn off this tool. There's an on-off switch right here. And then when you go back to the other tabs, say color, that's what you would expect. So this makes things a bit more complicated. You have to turn that tool on or off. Another solution though would be to go back into Fusion and to branch the network. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on my gamut tool and then disconnect the pipe. You can just click drag a pipe head and let go, it disconnects it. Then branch this network. This is a real nice thing about nodes. You can branch them in multiple directions. So I'm going to move the gamut tool up here to the side and then click drag that white box on the media end to branch it. Again, our pipe. And then I can drop that pipe onto the media out. The nice thing about Fusion is you can hook different tools to different views. So I can see the media out is connected to the right view. You can see it here. Plus there's a little dot on the right that indicates it's hooked to a view, the right view. I can then make sure the gamut tool is selected. Then press the one key and hook it to the left view. You can see the little dot here. So one key is the left view, and the two key is the right view. So now I can preview what my network looks like with the correct output color space, but then make sure I output the 
unadjusted version so the other tabs can use it appropriately. So now when I go back to another tab like color, I see the correct result that I would expect with RCM. Now the branching should occur after your visual effects. So let's say I want to add a blur. I want to disconnect the gamut. Right mouse button click on the pipe beside median. And then add my visual effects tool, such as a blur, and we'll use to focus. Adjust that. And then here I want to branch the output of the focus to the gamut. So the gamut should occur at the very end of the pipeline. In other words, you should branch it right before the media out. All your visual effects happen first, and then it branches so you can see a preview of the gamut, and then send the correct version to the media out. So now we can see that the blurred version with the correct output color space is visible in the left view, but what we want for the other tabs still appears in the right view. So now when I go back to the color tab, I see the blurred result, which has the correct output color space based on the RCM system. So it takes a few extra steps, worth it to see the correct result inside the Fusion tab. If you'd like to take a look at this project, I've saved it out as Alexa Red RCM Fusion Transform. So now we're down to our final video. In the next video, we'll discuss how to add your own LUTs and DCTLs to the system, how to use the Open Color IO set of LUTs, and what you might do when you have to render out multiple color spaces.